hello welcome to the new video this video is about our transition fitting between rectangular to round and so let's start so this is our rectangular duct and this round duct so if i join it it uh, adds this transition fittings it works with routing preferences and the thing is that here we have these simple lines that always point toward the round duct so for instance if this is rectangular and this is round here and if i join these two so you see that this uh, this triangle or the symbol lines they always point towards the towards the round duct so you always know what side is the round duct using this simple lines so uh, other features are that you can horizontally align zero means center and one means on this one side and two means on the other side so this is the plan view and we can also go and we can go to the section view in the section let me just grab this and then so like this we have vertical alignment one to the bottom and two to the you know top and zero will be the center so the centers will be aligned so one more setting here is about this the level of detail if you keep it medium or fine it will show the complete fitting it in the course it will just show this single line all right so so let's get back to the plan view here also on the course view you just see this lines which is meeting the centers and for the medium and fine view we just see this complete fitting and the 3d it's look like this so this is the fitting so put zero and zero like that and even the neck you can change the neck is 100 I can set it 200 all right so it's an instance value also there is one more feature here is that you can construct it using either length or using angle so for instance right now this is being this is being constructed using the length so here we have the length 700 i can change it to let's say 900 so it changes and also i can construct it using angles if you see this angle parameter it is right now not playing any role so even if i change its value nothing is going to happen to the family so unless i just check this use angle and then it will make use of will construct using the angle method so if I make use of angle and then now it's it's constructing using the angle so like that all right so I can change the angle 45 or 30 so now the length is calculated which is a computed length using using the angle method whatever length comes from 30 degrees so see the the, the, the length parameter value it has is 900 but the computer length is 933 so if i uncheck this and go back then it then my computer length goes back to whatever length i am just giving in the transition length if i say if i give say uh, 750 uh, my computer lens is going to be 750 all right and then um, yeah it can be constructed both by using angle and or length and you can set the alignment to both horizontal I mean, you can go to and this go you go to it will go up all right and then let's say one and one like so and let's say two and one like so so two and one 
me just delete this and so that I can see this all right so and you can have any kind of like you can point to two and you can make one so this is the bottom straight this is bottom straight and and this is top straight uh, the other way around zero and zero is all center so yeah how so this is about the assembly hope you liked it thanks